New at 10, police want you to take a close look at this video. A bandit accused of robbing a subway in Sheridan last night. 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen is live at Jacqueline. This man's behavior is different from what police are used to seeing. Well, because he kept apologizing while he was robbing her. And after he took her car keys, even said, don't worry, I'll leave your car nearby. And sure enough, police found her car parked here at the Inglewood Light Rail Station without a scratch. This is a good look at the courtesy bandit. Suspect should be a white male in his 20s. Inside the subway, he's about to rob. Ordered a sandwich, something to drink. Police tell us the man claimed he'd forgotten his money and a friend was on the way to pay. He waited several minutes casing the place before he went back to the counter. The whole time that he was talking to her, he was apologetic. But the clerk tells me she was scared. You can see here he's saying he has a gun in his coat. She hands over the cash, then he wants her car keys, all the while assuring her. That everything was going to be fine, just please don't call the police for 10 minutes. Possible police say she did the right thing and called immediately. The car said he would leave it within a mile. Officers later found her Jetta in a nearby parking garage. At first, they thought it might be this guy, the 32 bandit, now linked to almost two dozen robberies in the last two months. But then they saw the difference caught on camera. This particular suspect was very polite, very cordial with the clerk, where the other robberies that are occurring with the alleged 32 bandit are very violent, quick, and forceful. They're hoping this gentleman robbed will do them a favor when he sees this video and turn himself in. That would be a great courtesy for us. Now, the subway would not allow any of the employees to talk to me on camera. Some stores have changed their closing procedures because of this rash of robberies. So far, this store hasn't yet, but that clerk was back on duty tonight. Tells me it's just another day at the office. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.